yeah. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Hello, pedal nerd people, and welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. Hey guys. Welcome. I'm Gabor. Hey, I'm Alex. Um, and today we have Wampler Dual Fusion. Um, <laughs> yeah. I lost that guy again. Uh, <laughs> we, um, you've probably seen this around uh, before. It's such a great dual overdrive box, and um, basically there's two overdrives, and you can stack them separately or use them both separate together, say in a looper si si situation. You've got two inputs, so you've got yep. two inputs, two outputs. Yeah, so you can use them as totally separate overdrives. Yeah. If you had like a <coughs> looper. A looper, you can have them, you ha can have other pedals in between it, yeah. and all that kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. And um, today, I, I like to stack it two into one. Just channel two into channel one, okay. Yeah, and you do that via this little toggle switch up here, which allows you to um, set the order of the drives. So two, so which one's one? One's the one's this one, and two's that one. One's the one with number one on it. Oh, okay. there's a number <laughs> there. Hey, hey, that's it. Okay, yeah. So we've got the so two. We've got the vintage and the modern side. Yeah. yeah. Number one's the vintage, which is kind of, I think, a Paisley drive. Tube screamerish, Paisley drive-ish. Modern version of the Wampler Paisley drive. And in the so modern, it's kind of open and jangly and less gain. The modern's very thick, which I believe is based on the Euphoria. Yeah. Uh, before we start, quickly, what, what guitar? Oh, we have delay on. Too. Oh, and we have delay on too. Sorry, I turned it up. Uh, <coughs> this is a Larave um, with P90s, all stock thing, and you've got your brown, My brown guitar. Brown guitar. It's a brown Jazzmaster, um, Elvis Costello Jazzmaster with. Uh, Fine, fine pickups, uh, custom wound for me by uh, Mr. Mick Brealy in Adelaide. Mm. Great pickups. If you ever want some pickups, check him out. And we're going, as always, into into a Serotone OTS Mini 20. Uh, the Isocab with their greenback. That's the one. Yeah. All right, let's yeah. start. So okay. we've got, okay, which side do you want to start off with? Let's we'll start with number one. Number one, vintage side. <laughs> Clean first. Clean down. Hey. <laughs> so we've got three knobs. We've got a drive, a volume, and a tone knob, and then we've got a fat and smooth switch. Let's try the switch first. Just switch so first. Okay, so we're in smooth at the moment. Up at the moment. Boost? Yeah, low mid, low mids? mid forward type fatness. I guess it says fat on itself. It says fat, yes, it makes it fatter. So, so I guess it's a self explanatory. Yes, yes, it makes it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Let's leave it on smooth ice. Let's check out the drive range. The other thing is, um, jumping ahead, but the tone control has a lot of top end, it kind of opens right up, oh. so you can definitely use it as like a treble boost in those lower gain settings. Oh, well let's try that then, shall we? Yeah. Definitely lots of trebles there. Yeah, heaps of trebles. Uh, so um, you'll notice more when you gain up the the channel, that amount of treble is more obvious. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's 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 do that. Let's let's go through the drive and then through the tone. So I'll, I'll play around with both. Okay. There it is. <laughs> it starts the heat check. Thank you. 
really fat with the fat switch on. It yes. really fattens it up, and it's a bit of a volume boost as well, actually. Yeah. So, um, so you, it's basically you can go from a clean boost to quite a bit of drive there. Yeah, it almost gets slightly fuzzy too. Definitely the fat. It'll get fuzzy. Yeah, it definitely gets fuzzy. fuzzy. But see, so you, you use it more as a... Yes, where I have it is the smooth and a bit... Just to give the clean a bit of character. Yeah. Yeah. And... Sh should we try the modern then? Yeah. <coughs> Jump over to the other side. Modern side. It's the same thing. We've got gain, volume, tone, but this time we've got a throaty and natural mm. switch. So let's let's see what we're natural at the moment. Yep. Now the way I had this set up, if we use it by by itself, probably start a bit because okay. the settings I had there were basically just to push the front end of the other channel. Ah. Because I was going two into one with this. This. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you. you yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you're going to use it as a drive on its Stand own. Stand alone. Okay. You probably approach it differently. Okay. Definitely very different character. Yes. And very different tone stack too. Yes, absolutely. So whereas that is mega trebly, like it is like a treble boost. Mm. That is you really actually need to crank it a bit to because it's almost a <clears throat> almost lacking a bit of treble without it. Mm. Yep. Um do we just do um the to toggle switch? Change switch. Okay, so we're throaty at the moment. Okay. Definitely scooped for a start. It, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, it boosts the mids. Yeah. It kind of gives it a, yeah, volume like a dB boost on the mid side. Cool. Okay, so now let's do what. So how you have it set up? A fairly low gain. Well, I was using it as like a channel two as a dirty boost into the first channel. Okay, well set it up the way you... So it retains more the character of the vintage channel, but just boosts yep. it. We could try it the other way around. We could gain down the first one, and gain up the second. Completely changes the character. So you're getting more of that fat tone from the channel from, two. Yeah. Especially if we put that mid up. That throaty. Definitely, yeah. yeah. You can hear the, the mids are just... So, yeah, it's a quite a different character. So it's all kind of in the same vein, but you can steer it quite dr dramatically. And then I guess if you flick that the other way and switch them around, 
Yeah. Then it changes completely yet again. Yes. Mm. So there's about 25 different combinations. <laughs> <laughs> you can put it here with your jazz master. Yeah, let's do the jazz master. Okay, let's do the clean. Okay. you can play fusion music on it if you like. If you can. Can. <laughs> Can't. Let's do both. That's okay, let's do my usual thing. Okay. Crank it. <laughs> and, and let's do both. So you can, you can go quite heavy there. You can get quite chugga chugga. Even with um, oh, <laughs> even with maxed out everything, it still doesn't get crazy out of control with your bottom end or just no. It goes crazy out of control if you have yeah very low output jazz master pickups. But other than that, you're fine. Besides that noisy. But it's it's another one of those pedals that um, and we say that quite often. Um, and mm. on YouTube, it doesn't come across, but it feels nice. Yeah. Absolutely. It's one of those pedals that has a nice, you know, it feels nice when you play it. The last couple of gigs I've done, I've actually, I've been pulling my pedal board, board apart, and I've just taken that and a delay. This delay? <laughs> <laughs> It's the Wampler Dual Fusion. Anything else? Um, it's designed for Tom Quayle. Tom Quayle, yeah. That's his name. Um, Freak of nature guitar player. Yeah, if you haven't seen it play, just check that. It's, it's worth half a day of YouTube a, watching right there. He's an, yeah, one of those freaks. But um, yeah, check out our Facebook page and um, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you um, feel the need to. Yes. So the, the, the link is in the description below. Um, yeah. Subscribe to YouTube, our YouTube channel. Leave comments if you like, um, we try to answer them always, um, send us a message what you want to see, if you want us to do something else with that, you know, some other way of setting it up that you want to see, um, yeah, we can go from there. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks guys, see you next time. See ya.